word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Glory is of the Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. John 1, verse 14. Right from the start, Jesus was not like the other little Jewish boys. Angels filled the sky and shepherds praised God when he was born in Bethlehem to a Jewish family, to a young woman, Mary, and her husband, Joseph. Later, wise men traveled to honor the new king of kings. They all told the good news of the birth of the Messiah, the Savior, sent by God to rescue his people. When Mary took her baby to the temple for the first time, a prophet of God named Simeon was there. Simeon held the baby in his arms and praised God. Lord, now I may leave the world in peace, for I have seen your salvation, a light for all people. As time passed, Jesus grew strong and was filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was with him. Like other Jewish families, Jesus and his parents traveled to Jerusalem every year to celebrate Passover, a time to remember when God rescued the Jewish people out of the slavery in Egypt. When the festival ended, Jesus' family and friends all started the long journey home. Suddenly, Mary and Joseph realized Jesus was not with their group. Mary was worried. Jesus was 12, was 12 years old, but this wasn't like him. Mary and Joseph returned to Jerusalem searching for Jesus. Three days later, they finally found him. Where was he? Sitting with the teachers in the temple, listening and asking questions and teaching. Everyone heard Jesus was amazed at his wisdom and understanding. How could a boy know so much about God and his law? But Mary was upset. Son, why have you treated us so? Your father and I have been searching for you. Jesus said, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I would be here in my father's house? Then the boy, the son of God, went with his family. It was time to leave the temple for now, but Jesus would be back. A question I think about is why did Jesus know so much about God and who was the Messiah? Shall we pray? Dear Lord, during this time of Lent, let us always remember that you are the light for all people. Keep your eyes always looking up to you today and throughout this Lenten journey. In your name we pray. Amen.